Hi guys, it's been a while since we looked at my propagation box. It's, oh, okay, bye. So it's been a couple months since we had a look inside my propagation box and I thought today I would do an update for you. Let's go have a look. So you guys know the deal. I have this light on my propagation box. I have a humidity temperature gauge on the inside. It's stuffed with um, tin foil, etc, etc. If you want to know more about it, either check out Betsy Begonia's video on how to make one or check out my last one because I talk a little bit about it there. So in, it's in the middle of winter at the moment in New Zealand uh, so the temperature in here at the moment is 22 degrees which is pretty good it's got a heat pad on the bottom and 98% humidity is a bit high uh, probably because I watered everything yesterday. If we ever look at this temperature gauge it's at 18 degrees so you can see that the box is about four degrees hotter than what's on the outside and a good deal less humid I mean more humid it's a good deal more humid in the box let's start with the watermelon peperomia because one of them is gonna be gone soon and it's grown so much since the last video look at how big this guy is So this one was grown from a half leaf cutting with the stem stuck in the ground. So you can grow a beautiful big plant from half a leaf, which is pretty cool. This cutting was taken at the same time as its brother and it's the other half of the leaf. So if I turn that around, you can see that's the other half of the leaf. And I'll show you what the size difference between them is. Are you gonna go outside now? Or are you just gonna look at the door? Excuse the fact that we're on a washing machine. Let's just ignore that. This is it's okay Tandy. Okay. Bye Tandy Bye bye Tandy These this is the comparison between the two watermelon peperomia. So these cuttings were taken at the same time This is half a leaf. This is the other half of the leaf this half uh, um, This had the stem still on it when I stuck it in the soil and I think that's why it's grown so much faster. This had no stem attached, so it obviously had to like, I don't know, recreate the stems or something. Like they didn't grow from the stem, they had to grow their own stems, I don't know. Something. Science, I don't know. This is a Hoya oh, Shepherdii. Wow. I think it was in the last video, um, and it was just a tiny little cutting popped in sphagnum moss. But look at this guys, it has liked this propagation box so much that it has put out several little peduncles full of flowers and these two have opened and the smell smells to me a bit like honey. I contacted um, the lovely person who sent this to me and she said the adult, the, you know, the mother plant hadn't even flowered for her yet so I feel very lucky to have these flowers and a whole bunch more are about to open. Now these are the Hoya seedlings. I don't know how big they've gotten since last time but they're doing really well. Um, so these were sown in I think February this year. It's now June. So a few months and look how many leaves they've got. I was expecting them to be a lot slower. But they're like decent little seedlings. They're quite quite chubby cute little thing. And these were the Hoya seedlings that were started in sphagnum moss. There you can see the date that I sowed them, which was the 12th of February 2019. It is now June, late June. Don't ask me the date because I can't tell you. You can see that this is quite a succulent little leaf. Quite healthy. Grown, grown this year. So I'm, I'm really happy with these. They're adorable. This is a little variegated chain of hearts cutting. It's growing a new bud there. And it's doing really well. Um, this one's also going to be given away or traded soon. So it's leaving my collection. And it's going to its new home. Now this is interesting. This is my Sansevieria Hanii. It's growing a little bud. Ignore those two succulents that I've just popped in there. They're just random. But it's growing a little bud and to me it looks like this little bud is entirely albi albino. So I think that's going to be a problem. I was hoping that it would grow green and I was expecting a little green shoot to come out but it is totally variegated. 
So, I don't think it's going to survive. We'll have to, um, one day I'm going to unpot this and have a look at exactly what's going on down there. This is kind of exciting. In my last video, in my Hoya video, I mentioned how this one wasn't growing any green leaves. It kept popping out leaves like this pink one right here. And just, it continued to pop out pink leaves. So what I did is I nipped off that growing bud. It was growing from one area out the front. And now it has grown some green, which I'm very excited about. Hoya obovada. This one is doing so well. Look at him go. He's just going for it. I love his splash marking. You can join your friends. I was given a little rabbit foot fern and it wasn't doing anything so I chucked it in here and it seems to have really loved it in the humidity box because it's just popped out all this new growth. This was the original growth it came with, this one stick looks so sad. And then look at all this, healthy as. This is my first ever fern so I've probably not watered it enough to be honest, like it could do with more watering but it seems to be fine pretty low maintenance. I just really like them. I know a lot of people think that they're like basic, but it's so cute. How could you not? How could you not like this? More chain of hearts. I don't know if these ones have rooted. It looks like they may have. Even more variegated chain of hearts. These are just in spag moss. Spagnum moss, I should say. And I think they're growing roots in there quite nicely. I find sphagnum moss is really, really good for rooting chain of hearts because they just rot in water. Um, I've not had any success with them in sand um, soil. I've had lim limited success with them in soil. Spag moss just seems to be a winner. Spag moss all the way. Look how cute they are. These are the Shepherdi eye cuttings I think I showed you last time in the video. And they're going well. Is this the same strawberry saxifraga that was in my last video? It's done nothing. Now I think this was a reverted crimson princess due to this tiny little bit of variegation on that leaf. But who really knows because the new leaf that it's put out is green. So gosh knows. I don't know. I'll just have to wait. Okay so tell me in the comments below if you hate spider plants i think that they look like wigs and i have a soft spot for them like this is a um bonny or curly snake plant oh is it called a snake plant what am i saying spider plant ah, spider plant <laughs> i'm getting dirt all over the washing machine my husband's gonna be so happy this is my Clarinervium, sorry, Crystallinum Anthurium, Anthurium Crystallinum, and or Crystallinum, however you say it. Um, it's going well. I think I have to change the potting mix it's in, which is in sphagnum moss. I think it's just a little bit too like dense and damp and bleh for it. So I don't know what to move it to yet, though. So I think I'm like stalling. I'm worried. It does actually, it is two little pups in there. You can see that the stems are like two stems. So it's actually like two little plants, which I think is adorable. But look at those leaves. It's a cute little thing. It's so shimmery. Can you see the shine on that leaf? I can't tell if this thing's grown since last time. It's probably put out a few new leaves. It's probably ready to be sold or given away. Yeah, it's looking good. I think it's a cute little plant. Yeah. In this glass jar I've just got some sphagnum moss and a Hoya longifolia cutting. Which I think I'll swap with someone in the spring. It's doing its thing. It's pretty cute. I could even chop it in half and make it into two cuttings. Yeah, it's got heaps of roots in there. It's probably ready for soil, actually. Now, you know how I said that chain of hearts grow best in sphagnum moss? 
I literally just chopped off the lower leaves, chopped off a whole bunch of chain of hearts and then just chucked it in this little bag. And it's gonna be growing roots in there. You can see all those chubby little white roots. I put this in here maybe last weekend. And it's going nuts. Right now, we're on to these little guys. Now, these two little pots are all reverted Crimson Princesses. Crimson Princess Hoya that have been reverting. So I took cuttings. So once those new leaves open, we'll know if they're going to be reverting back. Don't know if you can tell right now. They're looking awfully green, aren't they? Hmm. This is my Hoya Crankolite with the giant peduncles. These peduncles look like pulps. You know how spiders have pulps? Probably freaking everyone else out right now. Some new leaves popping out. And I'm so excited to see them go all crinkly. And I was saving the best to last. Do you guys remember in the last video I was talking about my Hoya Numuleroides? And I was so worried that it wasn't going to grow roots. Well guys, I almost dropped it just then. Well guys, it has grown roots and it is growing some new growth. A little bug. Go away bug! That bud is all my hopes and dreams. I just can't wait for it to grow. Do you see how velvety and soft those leaves are? It's just gonna, oh, it's just, I'm just so excited. Is that another growth bud? Is it growing? Again. Again, again. I'm so excited, guys, it's growing. And that's it. That's all of my plants. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you hit that subscribe button to see more from me and I'll see you in the next video. You can fit in this gap. And then down there like that. And you, I think I want you. I want you there so I can see your flowers.